Hi, I'm Tracy Brown from LA Times, and we're here at our San Diego Comic Con photo and video studio with the cast of Supergirl. Woo! Hello. Hello. We're here. What's up, Tracy? Hi, um, so I know you guys just came out of your uh, presentation where you dropped the new trailer. How was that? The trailer awesome. is cool. incredible. We never see it until we're here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, at least I ha I didn't. It was very exciting. My favorite was Melissa's reaction to it. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh! <laughs> what can I say? Seeing Katie McGraw punch me in the face is pretty <laughs> alarming. It's pretty great. It's it's a great reaction as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I also, why, I would be remiss if we don't talk about uh, Cara's new suit. Yes. How excited were you about getting a new suit? I, it's been something that I think has, it's been a long time in the making and a lot of us, whether they've been in the writer's room or at DC and myself included, have been wanting pants for a while. <laughs> um, and the skirt was iconic and it's so Supergirl, but the pants are really empowering and I think the right evolution. I've heard, I've only heard good reactions, so. It's <laughs> awesome. It's yeah. very, very cool in person, too, and the cape it's and the whole thing. Cool. She's pretty badass. You, you could put, put her in a paper bag and it'd be cool. Is it harder to put on? Does it make it faster? No, this is so. This suit is also logistically just so much easier than my last suit. I also had like a million layers with my last suit, and this one is just one. And, right, we've already talked about Lena punching Kara. She deserved um, it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so last season ended with Lena finally finding out the certain secret. How does we kind of got a hint of how it affects the next season? But what, what can you tell us about Lena's journey for next season? I mean, I think most of what Lena is going to be dealing with the next season is is how if she can move beyond the knowledge and get past it, or is it going to hold her back? And and. I think that's the journey that you're going to see for her and her character. And I don't want to give too much away, but it's obviously such a massive thing mm -hmm. that it's going to color everything she does from that point on. And it's going to change all her relationships, not just with Kara, but with everyone in the show, because they've all been lying to her and she knows that. But there's a slight bit for me that she has a bit of control because she knows that and nobody else does. So Lena has the power in her head at the minute and it's how mm -hmm. she uses that. Um, I feel like taking on technology is a very big ordeal. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but how much of that? How much of that? Like, do you, of the messages do you kind of think about on your own in your daily life? Just how much technology has taken over what we've been doing? I use a lot of those time recording apps on my phone that like monitors how much you, screen time you use, and sometimes it is frightening. Um, and I, so I think about it on a daily basis, and some, uh, Instagram really stresses me out a lot of the time. So I think it's good that we're tackling it because it's something we're all dealing with right now. And it's well, remember when we w listened to Live and Die in LA? Yeah. And there was the point, and I don't know if oh you've listened gosh. to the podcast, but there's this point where they, because you all have Google on your phone, they can track everywhere you your are every to like move. a foot within geographically and it's so scary even if you've got it's even if you're on airplane mode yeah and we don't realize how much of our privacy we're giving up yes. that we've already given up and we've given to 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 anybody can can access it's a very scary thought and i think it's very topical to be right. to be showing that in a in a narrative drama and i think it's like that moment oh sorry Heidi. no go ahead well, where you see people, you're watching people watching a concert, but all they're doing is staring at their phone. Mm -hmm. When the whole mm -hmm. thing is happening on the stage in front of them, it's not even about taking in the moment, taking in the experience. It's about making sure you capture it. Instead of like, I, I just makes me feel super old. <laughs> where I'm just going like, no, the whole fun of it is to be there and to be engaged and to like, to just really take it in instead of you're watching it through a screen. And it sort of takes the magic away of things, I think. Mm -hmm. I think the, 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 not to be like Kelly and positive, but the beauty of technology is that it also connect, it connects people that are never connected. And I think uh, I'm Ethiopian, I'm Eritrean Ethiopian, mm -hmm. and I people learn more about parts of the world that they would never know about because you can FaceTime and Skype and there's revolutions that are happening based on videos that are posted on social media. And so there's so much great, I mean, governments are being taken, dictators mm -hmm. are being taken down. There's so much great and we've never been more connected. But I think what we're doing this season is so interesting is looking how it's, it's two-sided. So you can be more connected than ever, but then what does that do to the people immediately around you? Very, very positive, very well I work put. at Obsidian <laughs> North, this is what I do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm selling it. Right, um, I mean, five season in, you're gaining new uh, 
cast members and characters. What is right. it like when you, when you get to integrate, bring in new people to your show? It's always exciting. And Staz and um, Julia, Julia are really good additions. Um, I've gotten to work with them quite a bit in CatCo, and Julie's just such a pro. She's such a cool girl. And Staz is so excited, and his character's really cool. Um, it's always just fun to welcome people to the family. Uh, any words of advice from some of our more recent additions, perhaps, to your... Oh, I don't know. For the people that are joining from people that just oh. joined. I mean, I don't know what kind of advice I can give them because they've already kind of killed it, killed it yeah. and <laughs> kind of come into the family. Um, and I, because I remember when I came in, I was really super nervous, but everyone was so welcoming and so friendly um, and just warm. And so I think that it makes it a lot hard, a lot easier for folks, you know, that, you know, do come in with like a good attitude and Stas and Julie have come in just like, you know, full force, a hundred percent invested. And so they just, they fit right in. I think what they've learned more than anything is to, um, get Katie McGrath's phone number and text her <laughs> and have her as your emotional support. Yes. Cause every newcomer, Every newcomer has that as, she is the welcoming committee. Mm, yeah. So <laughs> Staz has figured that out already because he's from London and moved, and, and Julie has as well. So K Katie, Katie is the answer <laughs> for that. Get Katie's phone number. Yeah, get Katie's phone number. <laughs> it's uh, um, 310. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so close. Uh, suggestions, my bad. Melissa, I hear you're directing this season. Yes. What has it been like? Uh, when did you decide you wanted to? A couple, I've it. been thinking about it for a couple seasons and I, I couldn't last season because of a scheduling commitment and David directed last season and he's directing again this season as well. Um, and he did such a good job. I'm really excited. It's been really nerve wracking to say the least, uh, doing prep and shadowing, but um, you know, I'm trying to learn as much as I can and I think what better group to start it with to get my feet wet. Melissa directed me um couple of weeks ago, so just getting a, I should say, dipping a toe in. So she directed the scene um, with myself and, and a young child. Mm -hmm. um, and there were special effects, and there was all sorts going on, and she was brilliant. So I have no doubt that she's going to be absolutely stellar. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, well, in addition to adding new characters, we have an old character saying farewell this season. How is, how is preparing for that been for you? Please don't make us all cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can't. I, I make no promises. <laughs> it's uh, it's been tougher than I, than I thought it would be. Um, this these people are my family. I've been here since day one, and I've never. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I've never been on a series. I've been doing this a long time. But I've never been on a series where this many people got along this well for this long, and that's a real special thing. And I hate to leave that, but I'm 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 you know I'm moving on to develop a cable show and I, I, you know, it's just time. So, but I, um, I say that with a heavy heart and quick feet, so. <laughs> and you will be very missed, but loved and always welcomed. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like once, you're, once a show's been on for a while, there's like a checklist of special type of episodes to do, like crossover episodes, musical episodes. Is there anything you guys haven't done yet that you personally would like? I would love episode. to be a part of a musical, I just want to say. Mm -hmm. I'm sad I missed that. I want a Clue episode. Yes. That's the like best Like an Agatha yeah. Christie yeah. Clue episode. Amazing. By the way, if there's a Clue episode, You're I'm coming, coming back. back. Yeah. Yes. I have Come been pitching on. that for I don't years. even care if I'm they like, know. Please. I'm I, definitely coming back. I think that we have... And I maybe might toot my own horn here a little bit, but I think we have a really unique opportunity now that we have a character whose powers are based on dreaming. We can kind of do whatever we want and frame it as just like a dream sequence. <laughs> and so we could do a clue episode. I really want to do one framed as like a 90s sitcom. Another good one. I, I feel like that'd yeah. be really fun. I've or a group therapy. Or a group therapy group session. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't funny. have to be your dream session. When I Nicole think we just sent need me a, a, a fan fiction of that, and it was hysterical. It was, I found it. Um, someone sent it to me, and I read it, and it was just all of them. Like, and Kelly was like, "Okay, listen, you guys, you've all been kidnapped before. You've, all, you know, and it's and they're all like, what? No, it's no big problem.' And Nia's kind, and Nia goes, "Well, I've only been kidnapped once." 
do I need therapy? <laughs> and Legends Kelly's of, like, Legends of Tomorrow did a uh, uh, Groundhog's Day episode. That's a good and idea. I, oh, I'm that's like a, a sucker one. for any like Groundhog's Day themed mm -hmm. episodes, so I think that would be a lot of fun. I think an animated episode would be great. Mm -hmm. Just oh, a full, just the whole thing amazing. is animated. We all or, just or like do a our road trip, over. like planes, trains, and automobiles episode too. <laughs> <laughs> an amazing race episode. Birds, planes, and Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 We're so competitive. That should be amazing. Plane, the teams. Plane, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, we just wrote a whole series. We just wrote a whole series yeah, of all season, shows we, just now. Season six, we're just community. We do different <laughs> yeah. themes every episode. I totally down. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> different theme, different universe every episode. Um, well, I mean, you guys are Comic Con regulars now, so it, it's been a few times. But what are, do you, has anything ever particularly stood out as some like the craziest thing you've ever seen here? Um, this is my there first. There's no Comic -Con. such thing as crazy in Comic Con. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything goes. Yeah, I, 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 I think that the, one of the coolest things about Comic Con is, is that people are so uh, they're so engaged and so accepting mm -hmm. that some things that might be atypical or abnormal elsewhere, it's just perfectly normal here. Yeah. So like when you say what's the craziest thing, I'm like, uh, 15 minutes ago, 45 <laughs> minutes ago, last year, two years ago, yeah, all that. And seeing all the cute little girls come up in superhero costumes, that's really special. Mm -hmm. Katie yeah. introduced me to Aquaman last year. <laughs> yeah, and he gave us beer. <laughs> Jason was. He gave you what? Beer. He gave us beer. He gave us beer. Where, where was I? You weren't here. You were oh no, you were. Oh, it was before oh, the new girl. Before you came on the panel. Oh. Yes, Jason's and a sweetie and always has Guinness. You weren't twenty-one. Good Aquaman. goal. <laughs> and one last Comic Con themed question: If you had to cosplay because you needed to, you know, get somewhere undercover, whatever, and for any reason, who would you cosplay as? Anyone, Supergirl. anything. Asajj Ventress. <laughs> wait, yes, wait, Asajj. David as Supergirl would be the best thing ever. Yeah. You know what? I said Sora would you from Kingdom Hearts earlier. Thank yeah, you. The skirt. Yeah, the skirt. But I think I would go as Ben Kenobi. Not Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Ben Kenobi. Alec Guinness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do that, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go as Han Solo. But Harrison Ham. Yeah, Harrison Ham. Oh, yeah. I'll be C3PO. Yeah. Good, <laughs> R2D2. <laughs> I don't suppose. I'm pregnant. I'll be Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Andrea. 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 That would be really fun. I could do Dale Arden as Flash Gordon. In Flash Gordon. That's a really good idea. That would be fun. I go as Green Lantern. Oh, nice. yeah. oh I love that yeah. movie. He's um, American. <laughs> I would. He saved every one of us. I definitely would like to keep going, but I know we're out of time. Um, thank you for stopping thank by the LA Times. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much. Thank you, LA Times. Thank you. We love it. Love you, LA Times. I read you. Thank you. you.